Muddy the Playtime Fairy. Bag swap. Kirsty arrived back from the maze just in time to see the lions winning the race. She glimpsed Maddie and Rachel hiding behind the bush and flitted over to join them. Their sad faces told her that they hadn't managed oh. to get a tiara. Oh, no. The goblins have got a bag, Rachel said. How are we going to get the tiara back now? The unicorn team trudged up to Caroline, looking very glum. I hate losing, said Katie. It spoils everything. <laughs> Is the taking part that counts? Louis said, trying to cheer them up. You had fun. It doesn't really matter who won. But the team still looked miserable, and the lions were laughing about having beaten them. This is all because my tiara is missing, Maddie told the girls. No one can enjoy the spirit of the game. The unicorns feel disappointed that they've lost, and the lions are just gloating. At that moment, Caroline clapped her hands together and asked for quiet. For the final activity of sports day, we are going to have a rowing race across the lake, she said. It's very shallow, so we have some special small rowing boats for you to use. She pointed to where some brightly painted rowing boats were bobbing in the shining water. Could the team captains come forward now to lead our boats? Caroline asked. Oh, Kirsty gasped. I'm the captain of the unicorns. I have to go. Maddie quickly changed Kirsty back to human size and she hurried out from behind the bush to join Arthur and the biggest goblin. The teams climbed on board and Kirsty took her place at the front of the unicorn's boat, which was sky blue. The lion's boat was sunshine yellow. Come on, said Maddie. Let's go down to the lake and watch the race. She and Rachel flitted down and hid among the reeds, watching as the goblins climbed into one of the other boats. They had chosen the green one, and Rachel could hear that they were still bickering, even though they had the tiara bag. It's all your fault that we've lost both even so far, grumbled the spotty goblin to the biggest goblin. Thanks to you, we nearly lost the tiara. Jack Frost will have punished all of us. Shut up, said the biggest goblin rudely. I want to win this stupid rowing race. The silly humans mustn't beat us. Just hold on to the bag this time said the third goblin. The biggest goblin opened his mouth to argue, but just then the spotty goblin shoved an oar into his hands and Louis blew his whistle. The final race had begun. The three boards pulled out towards the opposite bank of the lake. Rachel and Maddie could see Kirsty in the front of the sky blue board, eagerly calling out encouragement to her team. In the front of the sunshine yellow board, Arthur was urging on his team. His boat was neck and neck with Kirsty's. Come on, unicorns, said Rachel, wishing that she was with them. You can do it! The green boat was just behind the others, and Maddie and Rachel saw that a squabble had started among the goblins. Their squawks echoed clearly across the water. This is my oar, yelled the spotty goblin. Let go! You're pulling in the wrong direction, shouted the third goblin. What would you know? demanded the biggest goblin, paddling vigorously with his oar. The boat began to go around in circles, spinning faster and faster. The goblins yelled louder and louder, shoving each other and fighting over the oars. Uh -oh. The boat rocked dangerously from side to side. Boy, stop messing around, called Louis from the side of the lake. But they ignored him, and the spotty goblin stood up to try to wrench the oar out of the third goblin's hands. He gave one huge tug, and the boat turned right over in the water. There was a huge splash as the goblins and the bag plunged down into the lake. Now is our chance, said Maddie. She gave a little flick of her wand and a breathing bubble immediately appeared, covering Rachel's head completely. She knew from her adventures with Shannon the Ocean Fairy that this meant she would be able to breathe underwater. Let's go, Rachel said. Side by side, Rachel and Maddie dived into the sparkling lake water and zoomed towards the place where the goblins had fallen in. They could see three pairs of spindly green legs standing on the lake bottom, and next to them was the gold sports bag. The end. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the story, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.